This is the next leg of our Pacific Northwest series from Wrangell Airport to Telegraph Creek Airport. It's a pretty long leg and we're going to be flirting with 10,000 feet up here in some of the mountains and glaciers. So we're really getting up into the outback of British Columbia. I think in the next couple legs we're going to need to start flying skis aircraft, but we're going to be flying the DA-40 just because it's convenient and the visibility is pretty good. Let's go ahead and fly it. Remember, these flights are free to fly for everyone. Just download them at simflightplan.com slash downloads. I'll include the link to this one in the description box. Just download them, open them up in world map, and fly it yourself. So this is Great Glacier Provincial Park in British Columbia, Canada. Don't know a whole lot about it myself other than it looks like it'd be a fantastic place to go camping and hiking in the summer, of course. And Choquette Hawk Springs Provincial Park is right across the river here. So I guess you can hike the glaciers and then go relax in the hot springs. Sounds like a pretty good gig. I guess that's Big Mountain right there in front of us at 8,500. So we're gonna need to climb pretty smartly. So there's Mount Robertson East and then Big Mountain, which is our waypoint. So we'll go ahead and head north around Big Mountain. And there's Big Mountain. And Saddlehorn's at 15 and a half miles at 7,200 feet. I don't know if I'm gonna descend that far because I think we need to climb back to 9,800 after that. And there's Saddlehorn. I get it, that makes sense. Looks like a Saddlehorn, pretty much. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that peak looming above everything else is Ambition Mountain at 9,800 feet. So we'll go ahead and climb to the peak of it. And there's the peak of Ambition Mountain, our next waypoint at 9,800 feet. Uh, I guess that's Scudamore Glacier. Not sure why it gets its own name with all these other glaciers around too. Little glacier lake tucked down there. There's another one down the valley. And there's Crocus Mountain at 8,200 feet. That's our last waypoint. I assume that puts us online to the airport, although the airport's 23 miles away. So, don't really need to check the approach yet. All right, we're 15 miles out. Let's take a look at the approach. Oh, so Telegraph Creek is right out here. Pretty much straight in approach to a dirt runway, looks like. And welcome to Telegraph Creek. This concludes the next leg of our Pacific Northwest series. Remember, all these are free to fly for everyone. Just go to simflightplan.com slash downloads. I'll include the link to this one in the description box. Just load them up in world map and fly them yourself. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.